I'm Dr. Leslie Tay. I'm a family physician as well as a food blogger. And I eat, I should at post.sg. People don't like to talk about death, right? But, you know, as a doctor, every week I encounter some people where I have to break bad news to them. One of the most certain things about life is death. At your deathbed, you will, you will know what life is really, whether you've lived a meaningful life or whether you've wasted your life away. If you live life, just going through the motion, uh, every day you wake up, you go to work, and then you come back home, you're so tired, you go to sleep. Every day is the same thing, it's the same sort of like uh, pattern every day and you're, you're sort of on a journey but you don't really know where you're heading. If you have lost the meaning, you've lost the purpose in life and you actually lost any hope uh, that things will get better or things will just remain there, uh, you, you're not really living life to the fullest and it's just almost like a form of death. That's not life, life is more than that. You know, my job as a food blogger, I mean, I, I do go around reviewing foods, but uh, I do mo a bit more than that. Uh, rather than just going to a certain store and just criticizing them when they're not good, I try to help. So uh, I sat down with this young man and I analyzed his wonton mee and I said to him, oh, you know, you've got to change this, got to change that. And so we're having this conversation. Uh, that's when I found out about his real situation, why he's selling one time. So he told me that, you know, at one time, um, a few years back, he was he owned a big company that, uh, and he was renting out cars. He was at one time suicidal because he lost all his money at the casino. And after that, tried to uh, uh, build his life again by uh, selling one time. I felt that he was at a point in his life where he was trying to find a way out. I said, why don't you come to church with me? So the next day he was in church with me and during the church service he started to tear, he started to cry and then he just, he, he told God that his old life, you know, was, uh, was not going well and he wanted a new start. So he accepted Jesus into his life. That night he went back, he told, he told God, he said, I don't know what happened but I've been a chain smoker for many, many years since I was a teenager. So if you are real, stop my smoking but don't take three weeks or else I will think it's me and not you. The next day, when he picked up his cigarette, he can't smoke anymore because he said that the smoke just tasted horrible. And that was the start of, uh, of a new life for him. Now he's really found hope because uh, his family is fixed, he's now got a job, uh, they managed to buy a house and life is starting to have a lot of meaning, a lot of purpose and in fact he's going back to the prisons to talk to the other young men to tell them, hey, if, uh, if you're in a rut, there's hope for you. When there's hope, there's life. When there's no hope, it's death. So if you want to find out about the, the hope that we all have, can I invite you to the Celebration of Hope which is happening on May the 17th to the 19th at the Singapore National Stadium. I hope to see you there and I'm really hoping that you will find life and life in abundance.